Hi, um, this is John from New Evening Io Inc., uh, which does, which is my multi, my multimedia creative project, empire thing, palace, whatever. Um, so I'm just here to talk about something that I think, well, it's something that I want to talk about, um, which is my new single out now. It's called "And the Dog Followed Me." I just want to talk about the inspiration for that song and what the lessons the song teach which I think are both important especially compared to most songs I write um, so yeah it's a I don't really know what genre to put this song in um, there's not a lot of whole musical instrumentation it's just water drops and some sampling from other songs that I really love um, some like gargoyle sounds and strings, uh, but they're very, very short and sparse, um, very tight. And uh, I sing a jingle about a dog, and the inspiration for this came to me from something I saw um, about 13 years ago, maybe a little more than that. Uh, I was in primary school, and uh, it was at the end of the day at a friend's pool party. And there was this very cute dachshund dog, um, looked like a you know just looked like a sausage, and uh, and its owner uh, said you know told him to come her way to come over here and she has a treat and it waddled in the cutest fashion that I've ever seen any animal do it just literally hopped like it it couldn't walk without jumping and there was just such a when I think about it now there's just such a beautiful innocence about it that um, that's very hard to comprehend and typically stuff that's hard for me to comprehend I put into songs so um, and the song is designed to be very vulnerable almost disrobing uh, which is a good thing I think because it's like you know it's I, I, I wrote this in my notes a few weeks or a month ago on poetry you know I think you know, uh, you should only really write poetry about stuff that you would be too embarrassed to tell people. Um, and I think that should be applied to all mediums of art, you know, film and songs. Um, so, yeah, that, and I, I think I am getting closer to a more definitive sound from that motive. So, um, and I would like to orate, just in spoken word, not sing it, uh, the last few lines of the song. Of, or the composition, whatever. It says, You are only a rainy day mirror away from the worst person you could fathom. You are only a sunny day window pane from the best person you could share with someone. So the reason why that, I think, is important to share is because I uh, released a pretty long progressive rock track a couple months ago called The World You Want Is Not Too Far Away, which is sort of a more optimistic alternative of Carl Jung's shadow, which is that things you don't like about people are typically found deep within you uh, internally. And um, so I wrote about that and all the fantasy that could come from that, and that became that song. And this song, I think, pays more attention to the ignorance I had uh, about the other way around especially when I was driving home from work today and I just looked at people's feeds on social platforms that I thought were weird and not socially normal and then I realized that I did those same things years ago um, it's just that I've matured a bit but that doesn't make me a different per just because I've matured from a bad habit doesn't mean I'm a different person from the one who performed or executed those bad habits you're still the same person you just execute it differently because you've matured enough to recognize the pattern. Um, and I thought this was a very important thing to to alchemize into art or music. Um, it can just be a very terrifying thing to think about, um, knowing how close you are to the worst person you could fathom. They're actually not too far from you. Uh, and. Some, and the only reason people go on to commit evil things is because they've learned, they've 
or more importantly, they've never learned how to suppress it properly um, or integrate it properly in a way that is healthy and that does not harm others. And many people don't learn that and that's why they do evil things. So it's just about, so this song, especially that end, those ending lyrics are a meditation on how close those two things are between the person, the worst person you could think of is very close to who you are now, but also the best person you could think of is not terribly far from who you are now. So um, I just thought this was important to talk about because this does, this has been something I'm thinking about recently and I'm really proud of this song because it's so hard to categorize. Uh, so I hope, I hope you listen to it and find joy. Um, also, I don't think I'll be, re uh, it's, I'm only going to release it on my blog and band camp and stuff. I don't think I'm going to put it on digital platforms like Spotify through TuneCore or anything or DistroKid because um, a lot of, some of the stuff is sampled, like the growling thing is from the ending of Almost Frightened by Animal Collective, which is my favorite song ending of all time. And the, that string drone is from death with death of dig death with dignity by sufian stevens um, which is also a beautiful song ending and i just incorporated that so maybe i am allowed to just for risk of of rejection i'm not gonna probably not gonna put it on social platforms now um so uh yeah so um it's probably it's just gonna be on some uh, more casual websites for now. Maybe someday I'll I'll do it if someone educates me on the legality behind sampling songs, which I'm still uh, rather ignorant about at the moment. So, so yeah, I just wanted to teach you guys behind that song, the story behind that song, because I feel it's important. And if it's important for me to think about it, then maybe it's important to talk to you about it. So. Yeah, just one little yeah, touch that enjoy I the track. To add. And, um, um, I'd also would like to uh, celebrate the photograph that was used for the cover, which is a photograph by Julie Blackman, who is um, one of my favorite living photographers. Um, how I would describe her works is a much more nostalgic and um, to today's youth a relevant version of William Eggleston. It's very grounded into the earth, but it has a very very nostalgic youthful nature to it very innocent nature and I just thought it perfectly suited uh, the environment that inspired the song um, so I just wanted to take light to recognize that she is responsible for that cover and that I highly recommend all of you check her works out so um, thank you very much and peace <laughs>